Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you an awesome website which is free and you can use this if you are a designer or creating a mock-up here or any other project that you have here. So the website is called Shorts and this is the shorts.zone domain here. So I'll give the link in the description here and if you go to the shorts.so website here you will see this. You can create amazing mock-up like this. So if you just click start creating you can create your mockups here. You don't have to sign in or anything with the Google Gmail here. So in the left here, you can see that there's the menu option here. And in the right here, you see the mockups template here. So this way you can change the template of the mockup here. So for example, I'll just drag and drop an image here. So let's just drop an example image here. As you can see, I've just dropped an image here. And this image was created by Leonardo AI, which is an free AI art platform. So if you don't know about Leonardo AI and you want to also know the free AI art platform here, you can also check in the link in the description. There is a YouTube video there, or you can check my YouTube channel. There's a lot of video about AI art platform. So let's get right back into this website here. So as you can see, there's two options here: mock-up and frames here. So let's just see the mock-up option here. If you go down here, you can see there's option called screenshot. So the, this is the screenshot option that I'm using right now and there's the browser option and if i go down there's the mobile phone option mobile phone mockup laptop mockup ipad and apple i i watch mockup here so if i go to the browser mockup here and if i choose the browser here as you can see it can it shows like a browser here which is shows like a mockup of uh main browser here so as you can see safari dark here so it will give you a dark option here also chrome dark here so this will give you a chrome vibe or chrome browser type option here and here you can change the template here and if I go down this is the option of shadow here what kind of shadow you want background of your mockup here so if I go just none here this will give no shadow here this is the soft option here and and this is the hard option here also you can manually change your shadow here as you can see this will change the hard option here and this is the soft option here and if I go down, if you want to change the mock-up position here, you can scale the position here. You can get bigger, you can get smaller mock-up here. And if you want to change the position, it, there's the option of the scale your position here. As you can see, this is the this is how you can change the position of this. Also, there's the X and Y option where you can manually do this to change the mock-up here. Now let's get back to the frame option here. And here's the aspect ratio of that. So I have a 4, four to 3 aspect ratio here, we can use for many other aspect ratio as you can see. If you have a flyer design or if you have an infographic design or any other design that you have, you want, your client want or you you have to do the project for it, you can do this in this mock-up here. So there's the phone, there's the Instagram option, there's the Twitter option and here's the dribble option where you can design a UI UX web design here. And this is the Pinterest option here. And this is the select image option here so you can change the background of this option to upload your own background option and this is the color here and this is also the transparent option here where you can use this mockup as a transparent here so this is the color option if you want to change the background of the color here this is the green this is the yellow here and if i go down and click on this three dot button here there's also a lot of color here so you can choose your background color what type of color that you want and here you can see this is the gradient option here this is the default option there and these are the color that they have. So this is very easy to use here and also they have some desktop background. So down here there's a desktop background there. So there's a lot of desktop backgrounds here. As you can see, it's changes. It changes back to the desktop background here. And then down here there's a vintage background and holographic gradients and mesh gradients we want to choose the mesh gradients here so there's a there's a lot of mock-up here and there's the abstract option here now if i go to the mock-up here again and go to the style option here you can choose for mobile here and as you can see there's a lot of option style here so if you have an app application here you can drop your image here and show this application how this work here for the mock-up here and there's a lot of option to choose here so if we just want a simple phone here you can choose this or also for simple desktop here 
can choose this or any flyer or anything that you have you can go to the frame here and then you post and you can choose the respect ratio from here so that's it guys this is the i would say that i want to show you and this is totally free and this is only in the beta version here you just have to go to the short.so the link will be the given in the description box description box here and you can use this website for anything that you want like i have created a thumbnail for this video here so this video is about how can you use this amazing extension all in one extension where you can generate thousands of prompts for seo online marketing designing website application anything that you want this this is the boss mode of the chat gpt extension here so if you don't know how to use this go to the link and there's also in the description and you can also check my channel to watch that video so that's it guys if you found this video helpful and you want to know more about this type of software and ai tech here please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching